Hello and welcome to a new phone repair. Today we have a Samsung A35 with a broken screen. So this, the glass is not broken, but the OLED on the inside is broken. So you have a lot of black in here. This is A35 six model 128 GB new 2024 phone model we are going to start by using our hair dryer to heat up the back cover so we can lift it up uh, we have a glass back cover you need to be very careful and we are going to use about 4 minutes of heat. So now you need to get a suction cup. You can also use openers like this or other kinds, but I am trying to use um, tools that you can easily find online and you don't have to pay as much for them. So uh, get your suction cup in place and try to lift up the back cover. So to help the adhesive get softer I am placing a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on the edge so it gets inside where the double sided tape is and hopefully we can get this up easier so as I said this is made out of glass and we don't want to break it so it's It seems to be strong, but we need to be patient. I don't want to pull too hard and break it, but I'm trying to balance out. Okay. So, getting this opener between the frame and the glass is dangerous because there is a small, very small gap. So, it could end up in breaking the back cover. So, let's see. Yes, there, there is two little space in here so we need more pulling force here So looks like something is happening, but I managed to get this under the back cover for a bit. So after getting the corner up, things will be much easier because using this thin plastic tool you can also use guitar picks but guitar picks are harder and you have more risk of breaking your back cover so easy go around the back cover 
and do not pull too hard on it. So get around. Let's see. I recommend dipping this in isopropyl alcohol so it slides in between the double sided tape and the phone's frame. So this way the damage to the double sided tape is less. If, if this doesn't work for you, maybe <clears throat> you can try to apply an, a couple of minutes of heat to the phone again. So, when doing this, you need to be very careful not to go in too deep using your opening tool. So, don't go in too deep because you may damage other parts. So, after going around, looks like the back cover is off. And we are trying to lift it. But looks like the double-sided tape is on the frame in some places and on the back cover in other places so it's better to cut this way it will stay in uh, exact exactly the same place so in this repair we are going to keep the phone's frame and only replace the lcd without the frame and we need to keep our our frame so this double sided tape and this double sided tape is like a puzzle and it will be very good together so the back glass is in one piece I hope you got to uh, this disassemble yours in one piece also now let's continue with the repair we are going to get the sim tray out using our eject tool and start unscrewing all of the screws let's see maybe i can do this like this so you can see better can you see better okay so we have magnetic screws but some of them are stubborn so we are getting all of the screws out and we need to get this plastic shield off so this plastic shield protects the motherboard and cameras from damage if you drop your phone. It also has the NFC antenna here. All of the top screws are out and now we are going to get the bottom screws out let's see so I am using a Phillips screwdriver it's a 1.5 millimeter screwdriver Okay, 
After removing all of the screws, we need to get these shields out. So we have two places marked with a triangle and in these places if we get an opening tool it's the perfect place to get the shield out. So as you can see it's almost out. We, we still have a bracket here and let's see I'm trying to get this out in one piece also we have a bracket in here that it was keeping it in place so this is a simple shield now we need to get this bottom part out so this is the speaker the loudspeaker so it looks like we have another marking here that says how to get this off uh, it jumped out so this is the first time I am opening an A35 uh, so as you can see we have our motherboard main flex and charging board battery speaker the main flex looks like it's common for A55 and A35 so this is a good thing using common parts disconnect the battery and unscrew the motherboard screw place this screw in a different place so you don't mix it up with the other ones also we have a small black screw on the charging board get this out carefully now we need to lift up the motherboard we are going to disconnect the main flex cable disconnect from the charging board and disconnect from the screen so let's see get the antenna cables out gently and try to lift this corner for a bit and slowly get the motherboard out so as you can see it's detached we also need to get the bottom part out but you need to be very careful removing the fingerprint sensor so there is usually a double-sided tape under the fingerprint sensor so you can use a little bit of heat so getting it out will be easier and we don't risk damaging it you can also uh, disconnect it from the charging board but as you wish Try not to touch your cameras while you work. So getting this tweezer under the edge of the fingerprint sensor, but the edge, not the center, and lifting it up gets it uh, gets the job done. So now we can gently lift up this charging board and everything is okay you can also disconnect your antenna cables but sometimes these things are so fragile they they come out from the socket and you have to replace them okay so as we are going to replace only the screen and not the and not the frame we need to get the screen out from from this so to do this we are going to use heat again but this time on the screen let's let's get this to the side 
and start using heat on the screen. You can also get your battery out uh, if you want. I recommend I, uh, I recommend getting some tape on the battery connector if you are going to leave this on the phone. So we are going to get this heated up for about five minutes using our hair dryer. Okay. So I guess the best way to get this out is using the earpiece gap we have in here. So I'm placing my suction cup on the top part of the screen so luckily it's not shattered so try to get in here but I'm also applying some isopropyl alcohol and pulling from the screen pulling up and let's try to use some force from the inside So this may need more heat, but we are trying to get it out this way. So be careful not to break it. Um, it's always a good idea to wear protective uh, eyeglasses. So let's see if we can get inside. Yes, and looks like we managed to get under the screen. And I am using this thin plastic and isopropyl alcohol. So, isopropyl alcohol to make it slide easier here and go around okay you may want to use heat again if things don't work out, apply another couple of minutes of heat. Okay, let's see, keep going. So here we are going to get near the flex cable, go around. bottom part and when we are at the when we are at the end we need to get this maybe it was a good idea to get this up first so get this thing up. Also remove the black sticker because we need to use this for the new screen. Okay, let's see. Are we done? We still need to get this so there is a little bit of 
Okay, it's done. So the screen is now removed. We broke this, but we don't need this uh, this cable. It's uh, included in the new display. Okay. Now we need to clean the frame. So every everything uh, that is here from the old screen, all of the glue needs to come off. So we need to clean this. We also ordered a new double-sided tape for this repair. So if you get the screen without the frame, you also need to get the double-sided tape. So try to clean this the best you can, because if you have the old double-sided tape in here, the new one will not uh, do the job. Also, if you have pieces of glass in here from the broken screen uh, you may break your screen when when uh, pressing on it so you don't want that so try try to work as clean as you can so clean everything check double check and check again so you don't have anything in here that can damage your new screen so look closely also if you have dirt inside you need to clean it but Sometimes using isopropyl alcohol to clean these this, uh, phone frames uh, will, will not be a good idea because it can make the, the surface not stick to the double-sided tape after you place isopropyl alcohol. So, looks like everything is clean. We still have this double-sided tape uh, stickers in here that are in very good shape and now we can continue with the repair so this means we get our double sided tape remove the protective layer and align this perfectly to our frame so if you work at Samsung you have access to machines uh, that help you get this in place and also you can have access to the press that helps to stick the new display to the frame but if you are doing your repair at home you need to improvise so we are using this plastic tool to press on the double sided tape so it it gets in place and after we are going to get this shield uh, this uh, uh, this film off so there is a little bit here that didn't want to okay let's see if we can fix this okay let's 
isi so we need to get this on the Okay. Sometimes these things happen. Now we get our new original Samsung screen and and place this on the frame. You also need to be very careful so you don't forget your flex cable. Do not forget about this. Also, we need to remove these stickers carefully. Remove all of the green stickers and check to get this in in its place and after you get that in its place you can you can also align the bottom part to the frame And after you have your screen in the right place, turn it around. Yes, so this is good. Now we need to get all of the parts in and we are going to put the phone in a press after everything goes back in place. I am removing the battery connector uh, captain tape that helped us not to short our battery get the motherboard in its place do not touch your cameras get your charging board in place so a little bit of downward pressure and everything is in place get the antenna cables in their sockets, in their groove, and after that we need to get the black screws back where we got them from. So if you forget where the black screw place is, you can check like this. So here we have the black screws place. Carefully screw not you not using too much force also get your motherboard screw in if you forget where it came from also you can get your shield to check so this is the place for your motherboard screw now we need to place the main flex back so, connect to the display, connect to the charging board, and also connect to the motherboard. So, usually you can hear a click when everything is connected the right way. Connect the battery. Okay. And check to see if you have any dust 
or dirt on your cameras if you do use a very very clean brush or some cloth but it's better not to touch your cameras now that we got our shield in this part first we can push downward to to get everything in place so let's see maybe it's not this way maybe we need to get this it this way first let's see this bracket may be bigger so let's try this way around okay click and click yes this way is the best get in this bracket first let's get the bottom shield so I'm going to I'm going to insert this way first so this bracket in and push down on the rest and now we can continue to put our screws back in So this video is for educational purposes only. If you have any damage while trying to repair your phone, it's not my fault. Always try to use original parts and be very careful while replacing them. Sometimes touching the right spot with your screwdriver can make your phone uh, uh, not working. So let's get the SIM tray in. And I am curious to power the phone. So let's see, is the phone powering on? The phone is powering on. If, if your back cover has too much damage on the double-sided tape or the double-sided tape is dirty, it's a good idea to replace it. So the phone is working, the touch screen is working. Let's see. We don't have any spots, we don't have any issues, so everything is working properly. As you can see. Now we are going to put the back cover on the phone, but to make the double-sided tape stickier, I am using our hair dryer for about two minutes.
Okay, now we get the back cover in its place. Check to see if you have dust in the cameras before you place your back cover on the phone. So now I am applying pressure on the sides of the back cover so the double sided tape sticks everything together. We also need to do the same thing for the display. Press gently on the sides so the double sided tape sticks and we are going to put the phone in a press. You can improvise using a couple of hard books, I guess, if you have them. So make like a flat surface, get on top of the screen to get pressure applied. So if this video helped, you can like, comment and subscribe. If you have some uh, ideas or I missed something or some, some something uh, would have been better off done another way, please write in the comment section below so we can all learn together. Have a good day!